Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we are going to discuss about risk based authentication RBA in 3DS. So in previous sessions, I have explained how 3DS authenticates 3DS authentication works and you should be why now you should be aware of this wind this is screenshot so this is screenshot is nothing but 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 a authentication wi window which is shown to the customer when when they do the payment credit card payment and their card is 3ds enabled this is screenshot showing verified by visa this is the window for the visa card now let's see what is risk based authentication in risk based authentication in 3ds issuer or customer bank approves a transaction having low risk factor without the need of input like otp from the card holder even if the credit card or debit card is enrolled with 3ds that means no more authentication pop-up windows so removing friction from checkout process hence this is also called frictionless flow it is very simple when your card is enabled with 3ds and you are going you are placing an order on the website you have entered your detail then normally you will see this screen authentication window screen where you enter your password otp where you enter your otp the screenshot i have attached at the right bottom so normally customer and customer encounters this window to enter the otp but in a risk based transaction if customer bank finds that transaction risk is low then then issue bank or customer bank do not send this window to the customer to enter the otp they skip this particular window and approve the transaction so this process makes the checkout process more easy more smooth more frictionless that's why this is called frictionless flow if issuing bank finds that risk factor is high then the authentication form window showing here at the bottom right appears where customer enters the otp to authenticate itself this is called challenge flow so in risk with authentication you have two flow frictionless flow and challenge flow when the website or merchant application send the request to the access control server to check if card is enabled with 3ds or not the access control server do the transaction risk analysis using many parameters like device information of the customer customer location customer browser information transaction history to calculate to calculate the risk factor and based on the risk factor customer is gone through either frictionless flow or the challenge flow so in challenge flow customer see the authentication form window in frictionless customer do not see the authentication window without authentication transaction is approved if other parameters are valid like credit card number cvv number but in challenge flow customer will see this particular authentication window where they will enter customer will enter the otp so this is the difference between frictionless and challenge flow which is the part of risk based authentication this is the diagram i have created to show how the 3ds authentication works and this diagram i already explained in the previous video thoroughly how it works how the authentication works in 3ds in context to the risk based authentication i have again pasted that diagram here so that you can understand where risk based authentication coming into the flow so you can see in step one the merchant triggers the 3ds check call 3ds check and authorization request to the payment gateway then payment gateway send the request to the 3ds server step 1.1 then 3ds sends the 3ds server sends a request to discovery server 1.2 and discovery server sends the request to so and then access control server check if the card is enabled with 3ds or not so here getting this request 1.3 
what access control server does to the transaction risk analysis based on the many parameters like device, device involved like device information location of the customer browser information to calculate the risk factor if the risk factor is low then ACS server sends the response saying that there is no need to authenticate the customer customer authentication is approved then discovery server share the response to the 3ds server 3ds server will share the response to the payment gateway then payment gateway here checks the response sent by the access control server if it it finds that response is if it's find that the authentication is successful it triggers the authorization request to the payment processor if it finds that that authentication is necessary then it share the response then it sends the response to the merchant application where the customer is redirected to the authentication window so this is how the risk factor come into picture in step 1.3 if risk factor is high then 3ds authentication is necessary if card is enrolled with the 3ds so this is what the risk based authentication that's all for this session thanks for watching see you in the next video